Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video. Well, the mods being released right now are really slow and I can't really make decent brand new mod videos. A lot of you guys have been saying that the videos feel watered down just for the sake of having mods. And you're right, they are. And that's what's happening, unfortunately. So for now, I'm only going to be posting top five videos for a while and you guys can keep suggesting upcoming videos. I'm also going to add in top five new mods and top five upcoming mods as well. So that can be added into the mix. For a little while anyway, all the mod videos are going to be top fives. Also guys, my channel isn't exclusively mods, you know, and so today and tomorrow anyway, I have two non-mod related videos that you guys might like or you might hate, it just really depends. I made them for fun anyway, but all you guys like Skyrim, so there's no reason why you won't enjoy those videos. I will post one of them today and one tomorrow, along with at least one mod video. Today I actually have two mods and that one as well. If you guys do enjoy them, I will make some more non-mod videos to help let the mods build up a little bit. So anyway guys, we've wasted enough time, we can jump to our first mod. First up, we have the Assassin's Creed Rogue Assassin Killer outfit. I'm not kidding guys, this armor is amazing looking. The armor works only on the male body. You guys wanted me to show more male armors and this one is one of the coolest looking ones. The armor is a set of light armor and is more powerful than the dragon scale light armor, so you're well protected. It's just slightly weaker than the dragon bone armor, which is a heavy one, so it's very tough and very light. The mod adds the outfit, the gloves and the boots to any forge and the assassin's killer outfit can be made simply with leather and steel. Of course you will need to have the steel smithing perk unlocked in order to do so. Like any other armor in the game, you can refine and enchant this one. Overall, I love the intricate details in this assassin's killer armor, I think it also fits pretty well with the game as well. With its strong armor rating, it can be worn as your main armor, but it also looks good enough to be worn as regular clothes when you're just wandering around town. You know if you're roleplaying and you don't want to wear bulky heavy armor while relaxing at the local tavern, you can wear this. Next up we have the Dragon Spear. The Dragon Spear is a brand new weapon that comes in both one-handed and two-handed variations that can be crafted at any forge once you have the Ebony Smithing perk unlocked. And that is because the weapon's damage is equivalent to the Ebony one-handed and two-handed swords. For some reason the swords are listed under the steel category though. The swords are really powerful but they can be refined and enchanted to make them even better. The mod also gives you enchanted versions of both swords as well that does 30 fire damage so that's pretty handy. It's the design on these swords that makes them worth downloading though. The awesome custom skin on these swords is really cool looking and not like any other weapon in vanilla game. At least not any standard weapon you can make or buy anyway. This along with the dragon hilt works really well after all you are a dragonborn. So I definitely feel like this sword is worth downloading and trying out for yourself. Next up we have the Jaguar of the Yarrows. Jaguar of the Yarrows is a custom Khajiit follower located in the foothills of the Yarrow Mountains. He's big, he's strong and tough, and of course he's essential so he can't die. Equipped with a bow and arrow and an enchanted greatsword, he has no problem mowing down even the toughest enemies with ease. You can equip him with armor if you want to, but so far he's done alright with just equipped with his pajamas that he comes with, so I had no need to change them. Overall a simple but tough follower, and if you're looking for a cool Khajiit companion, he's perfect for the job. Our next mod is one for those of you guys who want a better looking Imperial in your game. The Imperial Armor Replacer mod does exactly what it says. It replaces the Imperial Armor in the game with a much better looking Roman Imperial set that is both lore friendly and more historically accurate, not to mention much more awesome looking. The mod makes changes to all the armor, including the heavy and light armor replacement, the Penitus Oculatus armor, five different types of helmet, a new cape, new shields, new gladius, decorative equipable dagger, clothing and any other imperial related clothing items. It also adds into the game some different armors including the one that I have equipped here which is the Roman commander armor so that's really really awesome. Overall a really nice mod that makes the imperials in the game much better looking. Unfortunately there are no plans to add any better looking storm cloaks but maybe someone will in the future. Our final mod in today's video is better city entrances. The cities in Skyrim are okay but they can be better. Better City Entrances is a mod that brings more details around the gate areas of the main cities so that they no longer feel empty and lack detail. This mod was made with performance and simplicity in mind. The details added are lore friendly but will not make huge changes like different flora and architecture that would not fit with the theme of each city. So what does this city mod actually alter and add? Well you get things added such as new flags, fences and walls. It makes changes to barns and stables adding in more details like hay and crates and boxes. Empty spaces have now been filled with storage, seating areas, and just anything else that makes it look like someone or some group of people have been living there. New statues have been also added to some places. New carts and barrels line the roads. Empty shelves and tables now have books, food and coins scarred on them. City walls now have furniture like chairs so it feels like guards have somewhere to rest. Don't forget the odd sneaky bottle of wine lying around as well when it gets cold. 
New flagpoles and cages for prisoners have been erected to warn off enemy factions. The list goes on and on. The mod adds in a lot of cool stuff and just makes the outside of cities feel more alive and definitely more immersive. All the main cities like Whiterun, Windhelm, Solitude, Markarth and Riften have all been changed with this mod. Overall a super cool one and it goes perfectly with Open City Skyrim if you're able to install that one that is, as it clashes with loads of other mods. So guys, there we have it, top 5 awesome mods that you should definitely download and check out. I will see you guys all later today for another Skyrim top 5 mod video, and guys on top of that, we have another Skyrim video that is not mod related, which I will release later as well. So I will see all of you guys later for more Skyrim videos. See you all then. Oh.